braided hairstyle and I have started by bringing back a couple of twists into the center of her head. I just grabbed the very top section on both sides and then just twisted each side up and added it in the middle with a rubber band. I'm going to start over here on the side and I'm grabbing a section of hair just right here above her ear. I am going to spray this down with a little bit of water before I start so that we don't have flyaways. So as you can see, I not only got this piece wet, but I actually went ahead and wet the entire rest of her hair, and you'll see why in a second. I'm going to begin this the same way I would as if I was making a regular French braid. So I'm going to split this into three pieces, and then I'm bringing the outside strands over the middle strand. And then every time I'm here on this top strand, before I cross it over the middle, I'm going to remove a small piece, so I'm basically splitting it in half, and then I'm going to take this piece up and underneath this twist. So I'm just lifting that up and bringing it under and over the top. So that is basically why I wetted the rest of her hair. If you don't do that, every time you pull this up, it's going to try and pull this hair down here with it, and it's going to make a big mess. So the water just makes it easier to keep it smooth. After you pull this strand up and over, you're just going to add it right back into that piece that you took it away from and then continue with the braid normally. So I'm going to take this and cross it over the middle. And then down here on this bottom strand, you're going to be adding in a piece with it, just like a regular French braid. So we're here again on the top. Again, I'm going to remove a piece and bring it underneath this twist. And then add it back in and cross it over the middle. And you just continue doing that until you get to the center. As I'm braiding, I'm going to go back through here and stretch out these strands that are coming over the top of the twist. And this is just going to make them stand out more so that they're more noticeable. They should pull out pretty easily because they're kind of separate from that braid. So now that I've braided all the way to the center, I'm just going to braid this down a little ways and then tie it off temporarily while I work on the other side. I'm going to be doing the exact same thing over here on this other side. Every time I'm working on the top of that braid, I'm going to be bringing the strand underneath this twist and over the top, and then I'm going to join these two here in the center. Okay, now that I have both of the sides of that braid done, I'm just going to remove this temporary elastic and tie everything together here in the center. include all of her hair in this ponytail at the bottom if you want or as you can see I left a little bit out that I hadn't added into the braid and then we're just going to add a flower here as an accessory. Here's the finished hairstyle. Have a fantastic day!